and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and I'm really excited today to show you this gorgeous wig. This is called Billy and this is a beautiful wig from Godiva Secret Wigs. I absolutely love this wig. Whenever I wear this wig I feel really sexy and classy and sassy. And a little funny story, when I first got this wig I didn't think I'd like it or wear it because obviously it's a machine teased wig. And when you do first get machine teased wig and you're not used to wearing them, they feel like they sit very high on your head. Now, the Candice wig is the same and the Abigail is the same and obviously they all make you feel differently. But when you first get one and put it on your head, it can feel a bit strange. But this is actually now one of my favourite wigs. I love it. And the colour is called Coffee Latte. So... As Rochelle says in Godiva Secret Wigs, it's like having coffee with cream because you can see the gorgeous kind of caramel pieces coming through the wig. You'll probably be able to see it a bit better if I use the mirror because, you know, you can see it there. But sometimes in the light, you can't get the full impact of the colour. So obviously when I take it off my head, you'll be able to see it a bit clearer. But I love it because she's got this kind of beach wave cut. You know, she's kind of a medium length bob and she's very pretty, she goes all the way around, but it's very beach wavy, and it's got this gorgeous bang, now, when you get the wig, the bang is very long, it's about there, so I have had to trim the bang myself, and obviously, you know, we can all do the bangs differently, so you don't need to have such a chunky bang, you can do it wispy, you can put as much in as you want, but for me, I just really like the chunky bang, you know, I just, I've always liked it and I've never been able to have one in, on my own hair because I had a fringe, you know, years ago and it made me a bit dizzy and disorientated. I felt like I couldn't see. But with a wig, you don't get that feeling because it's not real hair. So it's a real treat for me to be able to wear a fringe and that's why I really like a fringe. You know, not just a little wispy one, I like a full-blown bang where you can see, you know. And I really like the style of it. I love how she's just this beachy wave and, you know, you don't have to do anything to it. You know, you can just use your fingers as a rake to just move, you know, move it through. Especially if you go out in it and you're dealing with the wind and the rain and, you know, the elements out there can affect your wig in here. So you just use your fingers. But what a beautiful style. I absolutely love it. And I haven't yet sewn wig clips in this one. I want to because I want to wear this more and more, but it feels completely natural and fine with a wig band. So I've got a wig bands on right now. It's not hurting me at all because it's a very light wig. It's not pushing down on me. I've spoke about this before, you know, when I wear the longer wigs, if they're heavy, like they're not heavy because none of the Godiva's wigs are heavy, but if there's a lot of hair on the wig, you know, if they're a long wig, sometimes when you wear the wig band, the, the wig and the weight of the hair, you know, even though it's not heavy wig, don't get me wrong, it's not like you feel like you've got a wig on your head. When you wear the Amazon wigs, you feel like you've got a wig on your head. With the Godiva's wigs, it's like having your own hair. So very light, very comfortable, very airy. But the longer wigs do tend to push the wig band down a little bit because that's what keeps the wig on the head. You know, the wig band does what it's supposed to do. It grips the hair, it grips the wig and keeps it on your head. So, you know, they can feel a little bit, you know, painful around the ears when you're wearing it all day. But right now, it feels wonderful. And I've been wearing this all day. So, you know, it just feels wonderful. I love doing these videos kind of, you know, about four or five o'clock, you know, my time. Because I know I post them early, but when I'm recording the videos, because I've been wearing the wig all day. And I want to give you an honest review of how it feels and what's going on with it. So I know very well when I sew wig clips into it, it's just going to feel amazing anyway. But it really does feel amazing now. And, you know, the wigs are so nice. I don't want to take them off. And that's how you're going to be. You know, when you get your wig, you're not going to want to take it off because it just feels so comfortable and nice. And the way it makes you feel, you know whether you've got fringe or no fringe, whether it's long or short, blonde or brown, you know, you'll just love all of that. So this is another one I can really recommend. I do want to get Billy in a different colour. There is also a very similar wig to this as well. I want to have another look around and see what else they've got. But I love this beachy wave. It's just so beautiful, especially if you're going on a beach, you know, or you're around and, you know, I just love this one. So 
This is Billy, and I want to get Billy, as I said, in different colours. I just went for the coffee latte because I hadn't got one in this colour. So it is quite ginger browny. Well, you could say it's more of a dark chocolate, but it's got these gorgeous kind of caramel highlights through as well. So it gives it that edge. And, you know, if you had your hair coloured this way, it wouldn't stay this way for long because, you know, things would start growing out or dropping out. And, you know, I love the things that, you know, you get a wig, the colour's not going to fade you know, it's not going to grow out. It's here as it is. And it's so beautiful. And you just shake it out, put your wig on. That's the thing I love so much about these wigs. That's why I don't want to use human hair wigs. Because I know with those wigs, you know, from what I've read, obviously I haven't used them personally. But you have to treat them like hair because they're human hair. So you have to wash them properly, dry them, style them. Whereas these are wash and wear. You know, these are wash and wear wigs and, you know, I'm really excited because I washed my wigs the other day and they came out beautifully. So, you know, when your wig's ready for a wash because it, it may smell musty, you know, it's not dirty or grimy. It's more the smell because, as I said, when you're going outdoors in it and you're wearing it, you're around the wind, the, the elements, the, the, the wind, the rain, you know, you're out and about and, you know, the smells out there too. You know, there may be smoke or something else that gets into your, your wig just like it will get into your hair. So we also have to wash our wigs because we have to wash our hair. We just don't do it as regularly as washing our hair. So let's take Billy off then. So as you can see, this is me with a wig band on. It's just pushed it back a little bit. You know, it doesn't hurt or anything like that. So you can see now the gorgeous colour. So see kind of the caramel colours coming through. I mean, again, the camera lighting that I've got here doesn't really do it justice, but it's got these gorgeous kind of caramel, you know, highlights through it. It's a very beautiful style, very beautiful wig. And, you know, you've got this gorgeous band, which I love being chunky, but you can make it as, as thin as you want. So if I turn the wig inside out to show you, she has a machine teased wig. So it does sit fuller on the head. So, you know, you can boof it up as you want. And when I put it back on, I'll, I'll do that too. Or you can flatten it down. You can have it how you want it to be. And she has also a lace front wig too. So, you know, I think she's a lace. Yeah, she is a lace front, I think. See? Correct me if I'm wrong on that one. But it does feel like, it feels like it anyway. You know, obviously it's got a bang on. So that may be why it's got that on. So you can't, you know, you know it doesn't, it's not like you need a hairline. You know, you need to have it properly as a hairline because it's got that fringe and that covers that up anyway. But I suppose you could lift it up, you know, if you wanted to. But I don't, I don't know if it's a lace front. I don't think it is a lace front, actually. But, you know, it's 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 got it secure anyway. That's the main thing. Okay, Liz doesn't know what she's talking about there. Remember, I am new to wigs. But it, you don't need a lace front when you've got a bang. And it's a bang wig. So... It's got those wefts where you put your fingers through, so it's very breathable and light. It's got the, you know, the tabs at the bottom, which are, you know, these kind of um, adjusters, so you can make them tighter or looser, so it fits on your head nice and snug. And they like bra straps, and then it's got the two tabs at the side that you put down. So let's put her on and I'll show you. So whenever I put a wig on, I hold it with my thumbs where the label is there. So first I'm going to prepare my hair. So what I do is, this is my hair, freshly washed as well, feels lovely, feels really nice. And honestly, you know, since I've stopped colouring my hair and I've been wearing wigs, my hair is in the best condition of my life. It may not look very good, but it feels like baby hair. It's absolutely amazing. It feels soft and silky and my hair is really loving it, you know. It's like my hair is thanking me for giving it this break from chemicals which I feel is going to be a real break. I don't feel I'm ever going to want to dye my hair. I feel like I want to wear wigs, you know? I really do. Like, I'm not bored of wearing wigs. I'm more passionate than ever about them. I love them. I'm excited about them. And it's the freedom of not having to style your hair. or You just can be whoever you want to be. It's amazing. So I get my hair, and I'm going to put it in a low ponytail. So go around one two and on the third one I'm just going to like kind of put it in a low pony or you know a low bun like that because that also creates an anchor for the wig there and then I'm going to put my thumbs at the label or at the back of the wig because remember you may have a wig that hasn't got a label so you just put it at the back of your wig and then you want the front to come about there so when you put it on 
you know, you're putting your head into it. You're not pulling the wig on. You're putting your head into it. So I'll do it this way so you can see. So I'm going to put my head, oh, I better put my wig band on. I'm getting excited so I'm rushing ahead here. Bet you were thinking, you put your wig band on, Liz. The reason I want a wig band on with this wig, even though it's, you know, machine tees, which means they do actually sit more snug too, I find, than the monos. You know, you do need something with the monos to keep them on there, the monofilament ones. But the machine tees ones tend to sit snugger, which I like too. But I want to wear the wig band because I'm going to be wearing this. You know, it's not like I'm just going to finish this video and take it off. I'm going to continue to wear this today because I love her. So I'm just going to push it up. And I've got my wig band on. And I've done a review on these if you want to check that out. So let's put the wig on there. I'm excited. So again, about there on the head. Let's pull it over. And as you can see, I'm just tucking my hair in at the back. So that's all I do. I tuck my hair in. Now... What do you do now? Yeah, you've got your wig, what do you do now? First thing you do is you find the ear tabs and this is the way I do it anyway. And I make sure they are even and down towards my head and then I flick it up. Now we've got a bang, haven't we? So what do we do now? We have to find where the hairline is. So you move it up to where you want it to be, okay? It's about there. Maybe you play around, you can have it as high or as low with the bangs as you want because, you know, you can have it where you want it to get the bangs right. Now, you can see, look at this gorgeous colour. Look at this gorgeous colour. Obviously, because I've raked it through and I've settled it down a little bit, you, you couldn't see it as well. You can see it now. Look at this colour in this light of this coffee latte. It's beautiful. And then, obviously, you know, you bang. And as I said, I like this chunky bang. I'm just going to lift it up a little bit more there. There we go. Done. And that's how easy they are. They're so easy to put on and so simple. It's not like you're styling it for hours, you're messing around with it. You just may have to move a little bit of hair out of your face because obviously a bit of the, the longer part of the wig can come over. So you just have to make sure, you know, you've got it how you want it and... Doing it in a mirror is best, not a camera, because you can see fully what you're doing. And that's why I keep my mirror here, not just to show you the, the back and the sides, but also to make sure I've put it on right, which I have. So, love it. Now, as I said, it's machine tea, so you can boof it up, you know. You can boof it up. You can have it however you want it to be, you know. If you want it more beddy, like you've just got out of bed, or you want it a bit bigger. But me personally, I do like them a little bit flatter. You know, just a little bit flatter because, you know, on me, I think it just looks a little bit more natural. But on you, you know, you might want to boof it up and it'll look perfectly great. So this is Billy in a coffee latte. So let me know what you think of her in the comment section. You know, I am excited because I am going to treat myself to some wigs for Christmas. And we're going to do an unboxing, I think, as well. And, you know, and then obviously I'm going to show you, though, when I get those wigs, it's not going to be yet. because It's going to be about Christmas time. But when I get them, you know, I'm going to do a, an unboxing with you and try them on quick. And then I will do reviews on each one as I go. So I love this wig. You know, just so many things we're going to be doing here on this channel. I'm so excited about it. I just love Wigs with Liz. So thank you for watching. Sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.